my channel so I've accumulated a lot of new makeup recently and I thought what better way to try it all than in a video for you guys it ranges from recent collections that you probably would have seen on Instagram some may not even be out yet that I have received so I'm super excited to try all this I just created like a soft glam look I feel like you guys appreciate a soft glam look but I'm using some new products from Too Faced, Ofra, Makeup Geek, a new set of lashes that I've never tried before so definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you're all about trying new things and new makeup or if you want to see more videos like this from me in the future and definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like the look of this video and this look in general but yes without further ado if you want to see how I got this makeup look and what products I use to achieve it then please keep watching <laughs> Hello, hello, what do we have here? I've got so many new products in front of me. I am so excited. So I think we should probably just go ahead and get started. So I am gonna be going ahead and doing my skin first because normally if I was doing like my eyes first, it'd be because I was doing a wing. And I did a wing yesterday for the first time in absolute ages and I've just completely gone off of them on my eyes. Like I used to be the bronze smoky eye winged like queen and now I just don't think it suits me do you know what I mean so I am going to do it like a rounded eye but I am going to be applying a little bit of liner because I've got new lashes and they are slightly of a winged so I'm going to like line the top but I don't need to do them first so for skin I'm going to be taking the Farsely Rose Gold Elixir now I have seen this all over Instagram it's how everyone starts their like Instagram videos by going like oh or something like that do you know what I mean so this is meant to be really good underneath your makeup and I'm just applying two little drops and then I'm just going to buff that in with this brush. It's my multi-task brush, I think, from Real Techniques. Now the one thing, oh, the one thing I will say is, one, the gold flakes don't like settle on your skin so you're not like trying to blend them in, but this smells like oranges, like it has a really strong citrus smell which I really really like and it has left my skin feeling really sm smooth you guys know that I've been well I do love wearing like a facial oil underneath makeup and the foundation I'm wearing today is particularly like heavy so I hope this will kind of help to break it down and make it like easier to apply on the skin so far that feels really nice I don't think I overly did it because you don't want to be applying too much oil because then literally nothing is going to sit on your skin okay it's something that i was so excited to receive try and like test is the Too Faced 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. So I'm going to use this at the end of my makeup as well, but obviously it is a primer spray, and I love primer sprays. They're just like a quick, easy way to prime your face, and if you're lazy, this is probably really good. I feel like this is already out in America, but for us UK peeps, I don't think it's out yet, so I'll let you know how it goes. Oh my god, I just love that, like, coconut smell. If you have the... Too Faced Hangover X Primer, you know the kind of smell that I'm talking about, but the spray on that's proper like tss, 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 so I definitely feel like I'm getting a lot of product out of it. Now normally I would like use my brush to just like soak that in a bit more, but because I just used it with that oil product, I don't want to add like more oil on top, so I'm just gonna like <laughs> air fan myself, you know, so it kind of dries. I don't want it to be too dry because, like I said, the foundation I'm using is pretty thick. Okay, so the foundation I'm using isn't, like, that new, but I don't think I've used it on camera. And it's been sat in my drawer, something that I've been wanting to try and test. And it is the Rodial Airbrush Makeup, and it's the Heavy Duty Foundation Paste. So it is, like, thick. So I am going to go ahead and just use, like, the end of my tweezer and just... Holy hell. Like, just paint it on like so holy hell this is pretty damn thick so the only tool that i'm going to be using is a damp beauty blender to apply this oh gosh I, this is in the shade number three unfortunately i feel like they only did about four shades and the number four shade wasn't even that dark which is a bit of a letdown because obviously if you have slightly darker skin and you want this full coverage and you wanted to try it i don't feel like it was dark enough from what i remember but they might have come out with more shades since because like i said this was like a little while ago but i just hadn't tried it i get quite a lot of makeup and i buy quite a lot of makeup so sometimes 
things just kind of slip through that you want to try but I know a lot of you people watching are like me and you love a full coverage so I wanted to try this out and like see how it goes but I think the colour's pretty good and like I said this was called like their airbrush foundation or something and I I do feel like the coverage does make me look pretty damn airbrushed I won't lie but I'm so glad I used like kind of like oil based products underneath this I feel like that's helping a lot to blend this out okay now we have applied our foundation i'm going to be using two concealers today because i couldn't decide which one and they both came out recently i have the airbrush concealer and the brightening concealer from benefit now these are like <laughs> these are like a um, newer version of their like old boing one one of them is slightly more pink based and one of them is slightly more of the like creamier base and this one's the airbrush and this one's the brightening one so i think i want to put the airbrush one on first and then the brightening one and i know you're probably thinking like why do you want to put pink on top but i was watching kim kardashian's snapchat the other day and she's been using a lot of pink products recently and apparently they're really great underneath the eye anyway even if you don't have like dark circles so so i'm going in with the airbrush concealer both of these are in the shade number two i'm just gonna Apply this underneath my eye. This kind of reminds me of a slightly more creamier version than that um, NARS one that came out not that long ago, the Soft Matte Concealer. Just gonna apply that underneath the eye there and then again use my Beauty Blender to blend it out. I'm using a lot of like airbrush products aren't I? That's completely unintentional, maybe that's the new trend at the moment airbrush foundation airbrush concealer everyone just wants to look plastic fantastic okay so in terms of coverage i actually quite like that i felt like i well i felt like it was gonna be a lot but it actually using the sponge blended in really nicely but for me i just want it to be a little bit brighter and obviously because I want to test more of the range for you guys. I'm going to take the brightening concealer again. This is in the shade number two, the slightly pinker based one. And just pop that on top, but just mainly on like the fine lines or like your bag area, the bagging area. The one thing I will say though is Benefit packaging is always like the best ever. It's so cute. And speaking of which, I'm actually going to Wireless on Friday with Benefit. So if any of you guys are going to Wireless Festival on Friday and you see me, 100% make sure to say hi because I'll probably be a little bit tipsy and i'll obviously want to see all you guys and get pics i still don't know what to wear though so can you guys just let me know what you're wearing and then i'll be able to decide but i think that's actually really nicely brightened up underneath my eye without me you know without too much product so i'm now going to set everything in place because i don't have any new kind of like creamy contoury products so another new product that i'm going to be using is the Too faced born this way ethereal ethereal setting powder i've been dying to try this because you guys know me and laura have a really strong bond i never cheat on her i always go back to her she's like my number one but i feel like there needs to be a new setting powder someone's got to knock off the top so i really want to try this and see how good it is i am gonna slightly bake with it so let's go ahead and do that Okay, I can, I'm gonna tell you now, I don't know if it's because I was using quite like heavy duty products, but as soon as I just put that powder on, I literally felt everything go <coughs> like, not like tight, but actually, yeah, that is probably the way I'd describe it. It just feels quite tight, but I feel that's how I know it's like definitely been set in place. And if you guys didn't know, um, I like bake underneath my eyes and then to set the rest of my face, I use kind of like buffing motions. I feel that gives an airbrushed finish. And you know those like flat contour brushes that you can get, like the flat rounded ones? They are amazing to like buff powder into the skin. But yeah, just lightly like baking underneath my eye and like setting my lid in place. But I will say I am defo gonna spray my face with Fix Plus right now because I feel very set, like I can't move. But I definitely feel set in place, but powders are one of those things that you kind of have to test with time. But I do feel sufficiently set. It was, as soon as I put it, it feels a lot more, I can't think of the word. When I put it on top of those particular products, it did feel very like, 
like setting everything in place but kind of tightening. I don't really get that with Laura, but I know some people do, so we'll see how it wears. But this isn't new, but I am just going to spray myself with Fix Plus because I don't like a really heavily powdered finish, and I feel like that's something I've accidentally just done. Oh my god, I look like I have a bad dandruff. Fix Plus is one of those like incredible products that just solves all my issues for me, you know? Dry skin, Fix Plus. Feeling a bit hot? Fix Plus. Need to get over your boyfriend? Just spray yourself with Fix Plus. Okay, I'm now really loving the way my skin looks after you doing that, so thank you, Meg. But now I am gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows, and for that I'm gonna use the NYX Tame and Frame like Brow Pomades. Now, I did the campaign for the NYX brow products, but I actually only used the micro brow pencil. Amy used the Tame and Frame, and then the other day we received the big PR package that had all the brow products in it, and I realized never actually used it before, and I feel like this is like a cheaper alternative for like the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brows and stuff. Oh my god, I'm not gonna be able to open it. That's fucking good, isn't it? Okay, I can open this one. So I'm taking the shades Blonde and Brunette, and I'm gonna take Brunette kind of towards the end of my brow, and then the Blonde shade towards the front to create that like natural gradient. I will say this does feel instantly as I put it on my brush a lot more like moussey than the dip brows, but then I've had the dip brows for fucking ages, and these are like a brand new, I literally just opened them, so let's go ahead and try. So, so far I'm really liking this colour. They're all of like a very cool tone, which I can appreciate. It's always the end of my brow that's like the tester for me because I literally have to like draw it on. So far, I really like that. That went on like super easily. It wasn't like too heavy duty as well. And yeah, I feel like that's a really nice color. So that was the color brunette that I'm using like towards the end of my brow. Now I'm gonna take the shade blonde on a slightly smaller angled brush and do it at the front. So I just like to trace the base, trace the base and kind of run it through and then I like to flip it like I turn the brush around and just kind of follow where the brow hairs are going and once I'm happy with like the shape I'm gonna use the NYX tinted brow mascara in blonde as well never tried these before and you guys know I do prefer a slightly lighter brow gel I'm just gonna hold it all in place and use it to kind of feather up the front and add a little bit more like dimension through the brow. Lovely! Right, so I'm going to go ahead and do this eyebrow now because now I know that they work. I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we can move back onto the face. Okay, so like I said, moving back onto the face, a new bronzer that I got recently was from Makeup Geek. This is in the colour Tawny and this is what they described as their medium skin bronzer. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this on like a small cheek brush. I will say off the bat it does look very warm toned, which I'm happy about. Oh yeah, I think that's a nice colour, that's not too warm, and they're not too pigmented either, I was scared I was going to like brush that onto my skin and it was going to really like cling to everything. Oh, just like that a little bit. Oh god, I'm going to do that thing, I'm going to give myself like a bronzer helmet, ah! Quick, dab dab, there's nothing a beauty blender can't fix. But no, I really like that. Okay, makeup geek. I see you. Okay, you guys know I freaking love a shimmery bronzer and this one is from Rimmel. Not sure if it's new, but I recently had a meeting with Rimmel and they gifted it to me and it is called their, their Radiance Brick. So I'm just gonna take like a big fluffy brush and swirl my brush around and just pick up no product. Maybe it's just, this one's in the color medium. Oh no, I am getting, what, what, what? I am getting a little bit of a, a glow. I think I just always compare everything to my fave Global Glow from MAC. Actually, no, this is nice, really soft. I feel like if you were lighter skinned than me, this would um, work just as well, even though it is in the shade medium. On to a blusher and then highlighter. Both of these are from Ofra, and both of these are from their new, like their Tropical Island collection. So this is their blusher. This is in the color Bellini. It is the like lighter pink one, because I'm going for quite like a light pink, soft glam look, I've decided, because of the eyeshadows and everything. So I'm just gonna, Apply that to my cheeks. I really didn't. 
need much of that at all and it's definitely a lot darker on my skin than it appears so kind of happy about it because i didn't want it to look too like too light if that makes sense so i'm glad that it kind of translates slightly darker onto the skin and as for highlighter this is the ofra highlighter in bali i love ofra highlighters and this one is of like a rose gold so i was so excited to try this because i'm really into that kind of jlo bronzed gold kind of look and i feel like a rose gold is a really nice alternative color instead of like your champagne gold or like your iridescent white highlighter Oh my god, I freaking love this. Oh my god, actually bathe me in it. Oh, I'm gonna put this everywhere. I think that's so pretty. It's not too rose gold, gold. it almost comes out quite like a yellowy gold. I can tell that's gonna be my go-to on holiday when I've got more like color to me. Thank you. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that is like the skin done. Now I will obviously spray a little bit of setting spray at the end, but now we can move on to eyes and I already know I'm going for a soft glam look because I'm gonna take the new Makeup Geek in the nude eyeshadow palette. I literally think this is so gorgeous and it literally screams prom. Don't you think these are such prom colors? So I don't even think I really wanna be wearing that much eyeshadow, but I do wanna test as much as possible for you guys. So I am gonna take the middle shade and this outside shade to start with. And these are some of the new matte colors. So it's in the color buffed and creased. So just these two here, buff that back and forth. I feel like you guys prefer it when I do these kind of softer glam. Looks the like effortless ones that kind of that look put together but really weren't anything at all. And these slightly more mauvey tones. But Makeup Geek eyeshadows, I feel like they've gone under the radar. Like I'm glad they're bringing out some new stuff because I feel like they hadn't in ages. And their eye products I feel like are what made them like take off in the first place because they were so affordable and so pigmented. Yeah, so just taking those two new crease colours into the crease, like so. And now I am going to take this colour here. This one isn't a new one, but they have added it into the palette. It is the In The Spotlight Foil Eyeshadow, which is one of my favourite foiled eyeshadows from them anyway. It's such a gorgeous, like, peachy, pinky colour. I think if you had green eyes, this would look particularly Stunning. And then finally, just going to continue. Ooh, I'm finally just going to take one other crease color, and it is this one down here. This one is called Dark Roast, so I've never actually heard of that one before. So I feel like that's one of the new matte shades. And I'm just going to use that to lightly deepen the crease. I don't want to apply it too much. Because like I said, this is more of a softer glam look that we are going for. And just buff that back in. That's literally all that I want to do. This is such a gorgeous everyday palette. I'm just going to take a pencil brush and take the creased colour that we used in the crease and just run that along my lower lash line. And connect it around. I'm then just going to take a pencil brush and take... I'm just going to take this colour here, which is called Rapunzel, and just use that to highlight my inner corner. Why is this one not as pigmented as the others? Is it me or that? That's just like not come out. Maybe it's the brush or anything. But anyway, I'm actually going to take the Ofra highlighter because I prefer that colour and want that to be more of my inner corner colour. I'm now going to go ahead and apply a new mascara and this is the Marc Jacobs mascara in the Velvet Noir Major Volume. I've heard such incredible things about this so I can't wait to try it. But I'm also going to be trying out these new lashes from Lily Lashes. These are in the Makeup by Samuel style. I've never tried these before, but I love his makeup. He also has a YouTube channel, if you guys haven't seen it. He is, like, behind all the, like, Jenna Glam sometimes and all that good stuff. So I feel like he must use his own lash on them. So I'm just going to give them a little bit of a trim and then apply some glue. But these are, like, winged out and super fluttery. And I feel some... And these are actually bandless. So I was going to apply a liquid eyeliner, but I feel like I don't need to now because these are... Bandless. So maybe I'll do a lip, um, something with liner in the future. But yeah, now I'm just going to go ahead and apply mascara. I love this packaging. It's like an octagon or a hexagon. And just coat my lashes with them. 
Ooh, for me, I need a little a brush with like a bit more like grip, but it definitely is super like black, which I'm loving. So that's what my lashes look like with just mascara, but bear in mind, to be fair, my natural lashes are very, very short, but I, yeah, like I said, if you had like naturally long lashes anyway, I feel like this would look so nice. But now I am gonna go ahead and apply these eyelashes. Where are my tweezers? Here. Oh. Yes! Oh my god, I love these. They've got so much like layering to them. They look like you've just kind of had lash extensions. I mean, they're still like drying and sticking down, but oh my god, I love them. I didn't have a new lip liner, so I've just applied a nude one really quickly, but I am going to be using the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in Butt Naked. Now, this was sent to me by Beauty Bay. I didn't purchase it myself. Slightly controversial, I know, because some people don't support him or anything. I'm not necessarily his biggest fan, but I know some of you guys do enjoy his cosmetics, so it only seems fair, because this was actually one of the only like new lip products that I've received recently or that I've purchased. I didn't purchase this one, but that, that I've got. So I wanted to try it out for you guys guys and just show you the color show you the formula because even though you may not think he's like a nice person you may just like his cosmetics so I am going to apply this and it is more of like the peachy color and I thought it would tie in with the makeup I will say I do really like that color and the way that they apply so while that's drying I am just going to take a little bit of that over highlighter and apply it to my cupid's bow but now for the exciting part i've been dying to try these and so many of you guys have been asking me about them i am going to go ahead and apply two of the huda beauty lip strobes one in the shade angelic and one in ritzy i am going to put um angelic on first because it's the slightly darker one these honestly glide on and make your lips look so Juicy! And then I do like to take a little bit of the lighter one, which is ritzy, and just apply that kind of more like in the middle. I said in the middle, and then I just literally applied it everywhere. Oh my god, they are so comfortable. I can't. They're like balms, like strobing balms. I love them. So I'm now just gonna go ahead and spray my face with the setting spray. And that is the look complete. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I literally, this always happens. I literally love everything that I use. I mean, the foundation for every day may be slightly too thick. It literally is a paste. But if you are a full coverage lover like me, then that is something that I will learn to deal with. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. Got excited for some new products that I know have just come out or are really interested in buying. I've left links to them all down below. So if you want to shop them, feel free. Definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know if you want to see a full face of first impressions maybe just of drugstore makeup or high-end makeup let me know in the comments down below or let me know by giving me a thumbs up definitely make sure to subscribe if you haven't already i would love to see you in my next video but yes thank you guys so much for watching and until then i will see you soon bye guys